Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out the brand new Eden V0.0.4 RC2 update. And trust me, this one's a major step forward. Let's break down everything that's new, fixed, and improved. So first up, critical fixes. A massive bug that was stopping users from launching any game has finally been squashed. You can now play Nintendo Switch titles with way better performance. Plus there are big improvements to input handling and startup stability. Moving on. Universal changes bring full NSLR compatibility, Vulkan support, and huge rendering optimizations. Pokemon ZA now boots perfectly, and input lag has been drastically reduced. There's even better handling for aspect ratios, more stable emulation, and a fresh user interface with multi-GUI support. On the desktop side, we've got cleaner UI layouts, smoother audio flow, reworked shader effects, and improved window scaling, all making Eden feel more polished than ever. For Android users, this update's huge. There are new texture fix options, better launcher support, and a ton of behind-the-scenes tweaks to improve smoothness and stability across devices. And internally, a bunch of system libraries got renamed and reorganized for faster compile times, along with cleaner logs and more accurate shader timing. Finally, the devs introduced specialized Android builds, one for RM64, one for x86, and one for macOS and Linux. So performance is optimized per platform. So I will guide you through how to set up the emulator, apply some best settings, and also we will be testing a few games. All right, guys, let's get started. Download Eden Emulator by visiting the official GitHub page. Scroll down and from the Assets section, download Eden Standard Version 0.0.4. Once downloaded, install it on your device and open it. Click on Get Started, click on Next, and skip the notification permission. Now click on Select Prod Keys and select the Prod Keys from the folder where you have stored them. Next, click on Firmware and select the Firmware version 20. It'll be installed in just a few seconds. Now, to add your Games folder, Click on Add Games and select the folder where you have all your Nintendo Switch games stored. Click on Deep Scan, then click on Continue, and all of your games should now appear on the home screen. Now, to optimize performance, head over to Settings, Advanced Settings System. Set the speed limit to 200% and enable Docked Mode. Now go back to the Graphics tab. Set the accuracy level to Normal. Select the resolution to 0.75x if you have a mid-range or low-end device. For today's video, I'll be going with 1x. Turn on Force Maximum Clocks, turn on Use Asynchronous Shaders, set V-Sync to Mailbox. Scroll down and select the Aspect Ratio to Stretched to Window. Go back and in the Performance Overlay, leave it enabled if you want to track the performance of your game. Now go back again. And in the Device Overlay, Keep the things enabled that you want to see on your screen during gameplay, and disable the ones you don't, for a cleaner experience. Next, go back, and in the Eden Veils settings, turn on Provoking Vertex Indexing, turn on Descriptive Indexing, and turn on Sample Shading. Scroll down and select the ASTC Decoding Method to GPU. Scroll to the bottom and turn on the Asynchronous Shaders. Now go back again, and to add a custom driver, click on Add GPU Driver, and then install to import the custom GPU driver. Now we're done with all the settings. Let's head back to the home screen and test a few games. First up, I tried Pokemon Scarlet. It was running really well and offered a playable experience. You can expect around 20 to 30 FPS once all graphics are rendered, and there were no graphical issues at all. Next, I tried Plants vs. Zombies, replanted version, and it also emulated quite well on this emulator. I got almost 30 to 40 FPS at 1x resolution, with smooth and consistent gameplay.
Then I tested Pokemon Legends ZA, and it was running perfectly with a constant 25 FPS without screen recording. You can expect a playable experience and enjoy Pokemon Legends ZA right on your Android device. All these games were tested on my device, and performance may vary based on your configuration. So to sum it all up, in short, Eden V0 Bozio Point four RC2 is all about speed, compatibility, and stability. Whether you're on Android, desktop, or Linux, expect smoother gameplay, faster boot times, and a way more reliable experience overall. So yeah, that's everything new in Eden V0.04 RC2. Drop a like if you found this helpful, subscribe for more emulator updates, and I'll catch you in the next one.